Bella Taylor Smith is from Australia and she's going to tug at your heartstrings. I would say in advance, get some tissue because by the end of this particular track that you hear called Small Things, you're going to feel emotional. I can only say outside on this particular building I'm living in, there's a lot of renovation works going on outside. So I apologize in advance if you hear it interfering a little with the video. But we'll plow on with today's guest. She is Bella Taylor Smith, an, an, an Australian mu musician and singer. In 21, Taylor Smith took part in the 10th season of The Voice Australia, winning the competition in September 21 and collecting $100,000 prize money and a recording track with EMI Music Australia. In 21, Taylor Smith auditioned for the season of The Voice Australia with the song Ave Maria. All four, four judges turned round for her blind audition and she chose Team Guy Sebastian. The grand final was broadcast on September 21 with Taylor Smith being decided by a viewer poll as the winner. Her personal life in the pre-audition interview of The Voice, Taylor Smith discussed her background in the church and said, I never really knew why I could sing or what I was going to do with it until I started going to church. She later said, faith is really important part of my life. Well, fast forward now to today's song and you will find that in the lyrics. Small Things explores the significance of small gestures and moments in a relationship, contrasting them with the weight of larger issues. The song delves into the longing for clarity and validation, questioning whether the other person truly cares or has disregarded important matters. So whether it's off the heart, I don't know, because we will go through the lyrics once we hear the incredible voice that won that competition and put Bella Taylor Smith on the musical map. I'm glad to bring you onto my channel, Bella Taylor Smith. You are exceptionally special. And this song proves as to why I say it's a soul song that will ha have people reaching for the tissues by the end of it. Take a listen, enjoy, and come back for me and the lyrics straight after. Tell me what I look like to your eyes Tell me did I ever cross your mind Wonder if I have to wonder why There's so many things that you could say Why can't you just come and set things straight Tell me did you look the other way They say it's in the small things that I can see your love And I got all these big things and they're messing me up And maybe it's perspective and that could change my mind And one day all these small things they will add up over time Cause that happens all the time Teach me something new Or show me how to love the way you do Everyone keeps telling me You only want the best for me But that's just something new to me That I believe They say it's in the small things That I can see you love But I got all these big things And they're missing me Could change my mind and start seeing the small things how they add up over time. I know it will take some time. Once in a while, my heart stops beating. I hear you say, if you just keep breathing, you'll be alright. 
Oh my god, I have to get rid of that. Wow, I have to say, um, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I was welling up towards the end of that simply because she has a very wonderful, wonderful gift and the religious aspect was there. She's spiritually guided by her faith and her intuition. It's obvious in the video, it shows that. That was probably an important part to get across. It's church-like in its delivery, all almost with the piano and the violin in the background, but how harmonious that was with her voice. It's like a marriage made in heaven, and she's the angel come down to touch our souls. Because I'm telling you, that caught me by surprise. I have to say it did towards the end. I didn't expect it. But at the same time, what hasn't caught me by surprise is the fact that she won the voice of australia it was the voice i have to check my notes because it's all live you know it was the voice of australia it doesn't surprise me she won it doesn't and i think what what's wonderful about this artist is she's going to reach out to many many people through her lyrics the same way adele has done australia has now their own version of adele when it comes to lyrical prowess delivery of um a song and the crystal clear voice that resonates with people when they listen to her and her lyrics the, ly the lyrics go like this and we go straight into them verse 1 says tell me what I look like through your eyes tell me did I ever cross your mind wonder if I have to wonder why there's so many things that you could say why can't you just come and set things straight tell me did you look the other way? The chorus says, they say in small things that I can see your love. And that is very true with a lot of people in small things when you think about it, everybody. You know, small gestures, just saying, I love you. Just saying, today I'm going to make a day for me and you. Let's go for a coffee. Today I'm going to clean the apartment. I'm going to wash the clothes. I'm going to iron the clothes that need to be ironed. I'm going to have things organized so you can relax when you come home from work. It's the simple, simple things. And it's sometimes the simplest thing in a relationship can be thank you. How many times have you not said thank you to your partner when they've done the simplest of things, like cook a meal, for example, went out, did the shop and came back, cook a meal. And if you're anything like me, that's what my partner does. And I always say thank you, but I hate washing dishes. Hands up to hate washing dishes. And I always imagine I've got employed help that will do my dishes and clean my apartment. And, and maybe if my channel explodes, I will employ somebody because I hate washing dishes. I'll employ somebody seriously just to come in and wash them. And there's only two of us. And you might think how sad, but I admit I'm sad. But it's the small gestures anyway, the small things that count. In that first verse, Bella Smith asks for honesty and wonders if the other person ever thinks about her. That's what's going on there. And she does express frustration over the lack of communication and avoidance. We've seen that of important discussions. The small things she craves, like open and honest conversation, because a lot of people don't know how to speak today in relationships is a huge, huge problem simply because of the phones and people are heads down. They don't know how to converse. They don't know how to word things. And it's a huge frustration. And having honest conversations, what upsets you? Do you want to do something next week special? Do you want, you know, just everyday things? 
can help a relationship cement and come together, but we're forgetting the art of conversation. We really are. That's why I love taking my dog, going out for coffee, sitting like I did only yesterday. And for the first time, my partner finished work on time to meet the people I often speak to in a coffee shop called the tram, two minutes in front of my apartment, and meet people that I often speak to having coffees. And my dog attracts the people because he's a wee Yorkshire Terrier and you know he just people converse when they see you with an animal and then you get to know them and yesterday I was speaking to so many people four hours of conversation I've never lost the art of it look at me now but the small things that Bella craves like open mind and conversation hold the potential to demonstrate love and bring resolution that's what she wants to the relationship. That chorus suggests that love's essence lies in this particular small acts and gestures and what's important to her. And like I mentioned before, the, the small things that can be the most important things. Like I've said, thank you. 90% of people don't say thank you to their partners for the small things they do. It's quite, it's quite incredible. We've lost the art of appreciation, communication, and expressing it, expressing love in the simple things that don't cost money or time. It requires effort, everybody. But however, she feels overwhelmed by the magnitude of her own personal struggles in this song and larger issues that I'll discuss now in verse three that are facing her. She questions whether changing her perspective might help her see the significance of these small things over time. In other words, maybe she's one of those people that has somebody in her life that small things have been done to her before in previous relationships, but she's overlooked them because a lot of people do, like the things I've mentioned already. And it's those small things that count and are important in an everyday relationship. Like today, for example, I'm at home making videos. My partner's at work because he works for a large corporation here in the accounts department. And whilst he's at work, I've, I've got the luxury of uploading videos and making my videos and talking to you. It's an important thing that we have that space between us. That's an important thing. It's a small thing. Are you going into work today? Because since COVID, things have changed. They have the luxury of working at home or they can go into the building and I said to him it's important you see your colleagues once twice a week it's important you go into work it's different for me because I need that space to upload my videos to talk to my audience so it's a small thing to ask but at least we converse about it and it happens every week and the day he is in doing his work I am here talking to you talking about lyrics but she questions those changes and that, those types of perspective and things that might help us see the significance of small things like that. That's what she does. There's hope that these small acts of love can accumulate and make a difference. Because she's overseen them, and a lot of people do oversee them, it hasn't made a significance, but she's starting to introspectively look and think, oh, my ex did that and that and that, and that was done for me. And I should have appreciated it. So it's all preparation even for a new love coming into, her, into Bella's life where she will look out for those things and say the thank yous and, and talk and make things special between them. Like have a day where they go somewhere, have a meal or go for a walk even. Like me with the dog, we go for a walk often with the dog, without the dog. But it brings us together, doing something together. It's a small thing, it doesn't cost any money. It's those kind of things we take for granted that are so important. And I think Bella really is analyzing everything, cataloging everything, to be prepared for the next relationship to appreciate them. Simple as that. And accumulated difference. In the midst of probably her own challenges in life, because we all have daily challenges, we do. So it goes into the bridge that says, once in a while when my heart starts beating, I hear you say, if you just keep breathing, you'll be all right. Promise I'm not leaving. Now I believe it. So she's reassured herself that the current relationship 
and she's analyzed everything from the past and she's she started to realize he has said he loved me he does do certain things for me my partner is great in the small ways and she said now she believes the paranoia of leaving is not going to happen and it goes out with the chorus they say it's in the small things and this is the importance everybody of this song that i can see your love and all i got these big things and, and they still mess me up in other words she had bigger ideas bigger ways of how a person can express their love you know some people expect a car brand new kitchen um three holidays a year clothes allowance x amount to each week to spend that kind of thing people still in these hard times expect that for a person in their minds to prove that they love them materialistic things and then she finishes now i can see the small things and it's the small things buying a rose your favorite book for the week buy a few magazines so you can read them during the week because people still read a lot and still it's a myth to think it's all about social media and then it takes a little time but one step forward doing those small things she says and you'll be fine mentally she'll be fine because now she sees the value of it and you'll be fine knowing at last your partner recognizes it simple as that everybody for a successful relationship give a little take a little and learn to speak and appreciate and say thank you and i love you and boom your whole relationship can change so thank you bella welcome to my channel the small things do count in life and what a wonderful song to introduce my audience to you take care for now bye bye